Hello and welcome to Look and Live. My name is Henry and this is the channel where we talk about different pictures, metaphors, similes, poetic language, anything that God himself gives us to describe what he's like. Every week, every Friday, we ask the question, what is God like? And this week's answer is God is like Abel. Uh, we talked about God as a brother last week. Go back and watch that so you understand this. <laughs> if you haven't watched that, watch that first maybe and then come back and watch this video. Um, so God is like Abel, Cain and Abel, Abel. Uh, so this is the first pair of brothers in the Bible and it tells us some profound things about what God is like. So Cain and Abel, you may or may not know the story. They're sons of Adam and Eve. They're two brothers. Uh, Cain is the older brother and Abel is the younger brother. And uh, they both offer sacrifices to God. Abel's sacrifice, God is pleased with, and Cain's, God is not. Uh, Abel offers of the flock. That might be the reason, because God goes on to institute animal sacrifice later. Uh, and he says the life is in the blood, and that's the reason that animal sacrifice is good. Although there are also grain offerings later, so maybe that's not it. Um, but it, also because Abel gives of his best. When they give a sacrifice to God, Cain gives of his wheat, but Abel gives of the best of what he has. And this difference in their worship, that Abel's worship is, is perhaps better, and certainly God is pleased with it, makes Cain jealous, and he hates his brother, and this hatred leads to murder. It's pretty shocking, the first two brothers in the Bible, one kills the other. Um, and then Abel's blood in the ground cries out a curse upon Cain. Uh, this is quite profound, if you think about it, that bloodshed causes curse on the land and causes curse on the peoples. <sighs> we think about what's going on in the world today. Um, God comes to Cain and says, where's your brother? And Cain says, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? That's a summary. It's a paraphrase. You can go read the story in Genesis 4 if you want to read it for yourself. It's not very long uh, and it's very profound. And God says, your, your brother's blood cries out from the ground. And then he pronounces a curse upon Cain, but also a protection on him, that he will not be killed himself. What has it got to tell us about what God is like? Well, last week we covered how Jesus, God the Son, became our brother. And here we have two brothers. So what does this tell us? As Jesus became our brother, he offered better worship than us. And the other members of humanity were jealous of him, many of them. Because God favoured him, he gave better worship, just like Abel gave better worship than Cain. And the ones around him were jealous, just like Cain was jealous of Abel, particularly the Pharisees and religious leaders, but also to some extent the Roman authorities and many of just the normal people were jealous of Jesus and the love between him and the Father God. He was the favourite one. People don't like the favourite, do they? So, they had to get rid of him. And just like Cain did with his brother, they killed him. They murdered him. So Jesus is like Abel because he offers better worship than us. Because he, God is pleased with him and he's not pleased with us. And because, because of that difference in love and favour, we murder the favourite brother. We murder the one who shows us up, who makes us look bad comparatively, who has the thing that we want. Um, and Jesus' blood also cries out. When Jesus is murdered, Jesus' blood cries out, just like the blood of Abel. Abel's blood cried out from the ground to curse. But Hebrews uh, tells us, I think it's Hebrews 12 or 13, but I'll put it up on the screen. Jesus' blood speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. Because in Jesus' death, he intended to bless us, not to curse us. Abel's blood cried out from the ground to curse Cain and Cain's descendants. But Jesus' blood cries out to bless us. Now, why is that? Because there are also some key differences. There's a few similarities to this story like we've gone through. The two brothers, a different sacrifice. One is preferred by God. There's hatred, murder, and the blood says something. But what's the difference? And there's really key differences is that Jesus actually gave up his life willingly. Abel didn't know what was going on. He was clueless. He just got jumped and killed. But Jesus knew what was going to happen to him. 
And you can tell that because you go through his life, he predicts it many times. But even before that, before God came to earth as Jesus, he knew what he was walking into. He walked onto earth knowing he would die, intending to die. It was his aim to die. It's very different to, to Abel. Abel is an innocent bystander and then a victim. But Jesus is like a fireman or a policeman who knowingly runs into danger or like a soldier who knowingly runs into the situation of danger, knowing they may die. But even more than that, because he knew he would die. And Jesus actually intended to use his own death and murder to pour out his blood like a sacrificial animal. Uh, and that and sacrificial animal is an act of worship to God, an offering to God. He intended to lay down his life as an offering to God to be that great worship, that even similar thing to what we're jealous of. Even in his death, he's offering up the perfect worship to God. Now, that's not what we do. We don't, you know, lay down our physical bodies and God doesn't believe in human sacrifice. In fact, he abhors it. If you read the Old Testament, he hates it with passion. But Jesus, in being God himself and laying down his own life for us, uh, reverses this curse because his love is greater. The act of the people killing Jesus is full of hate. But his own act of self-giving is full of love. So Jesus is like the better Abel because not only is he better than us. Abel is better than Cain. He offers a better sacrifice. He worships better. He is loved by God. But he doesn't achieve anything for Cain. Um, maybe he could have done if Cain hadn't killed him. <laughs> but he just does good things for himself and he is favoured by God. But Jesus does good things. He's favoured by God and loved by God. And then he intends to bring that blessing to all. Through his death, he intends to spread the blessing to anyone who will trust in him. Um, you know, it's very easy when people are against you, when people try to hurt you, to curse them back, to do bad back to them. But Jesus's whole ethic is centered around this radical love for God and radical love for neighbor that loves even those who hate you, that loves the enemy. And he shows that in the fact that he laid down his life for those who hated him. He laid down his life to spill his blood as an atoning sacrifice, as, an, as a kind of that life poured out to make it, to cover the cost, to make it okay for them. This has gone on much longer than I intended. I thought it was going to be really short. <laughs> but thanks for joining me today. Uh, please come along next week uh, or next time. We'll be talking about another pair of brothers, Jacob and Esau, and how their relationship can tell us something about what God is like as well. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that and that gave you some food for thought. Uh, it's a pleasure doing these and I hope you guys are enjoying them and getting something from them, being challenged, being encouraged. Um, these paintings in the background uh, are my wife's paintings and you can buy originals, prints or even commission new pieces if you like what you see. Uh, this one we, we framed last week so it's quite exciting um, to see it framed. Um, I hope they add to the videos. So get in touch with her via her email or Instagram, which I'll put in the description if you like them and if you're interested in getting any. Otherwise, thanks for coming along. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching. And as I say, I hope it blesses you. Um, I hope you're getting to know God a bit more through these videos um, and that I can have some impact on you um, from a distance <laughs> um, while doing these videos. So, so God bless you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and like um, if you're that way inclined. And uh, yeah, next week, Jacob and Esau, more brotherly stuff. God bless you.